Hey, it's Tim Lurch here. I'm going to do installment two of the Ted Green Blues page. I did uh, last month a blues in G for you that Ted wrote for his students. Today I'm going to do the second half of the page, which is um, a blues in B flat. It's similar to the other one. And uh, you can find it at tedgreen.com. second <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate it for you and then spend a little bit of time going through it and uh, talking about what uh, kind of choices Ted was making there so we can all learn from him, a great, uh, great teacher. So here we go. This is uh, Blues in B-flat, uh, written by Ted Green. It's just 12 bars, one chord per beat at a modest tempo. Uh, the top of the page is called uh, Blues Progressions, and again, you can find it at uh, tedgreen.com in the Blues and Jazz section of his, of the lesson section. Um, and uh, here we go. Hope this is helpful. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's what's written there. Of course, Ted always encourages anticipations and uh, uh, fingery uh, things in the right hand to get this stuff to sound musical. And on this page, there's a few um, encouragements to slide into chords and sustain certain pitches or anticipate certain pitches. Uh, as we go through it, I'll take a look at each bar because there's a, a certain logic, uh, not only to um, the chord substitutions, but also the voicings that he's using. Uh, and I'd like to point some of those things out and encourage you to, to play them and discover them for yourself as well. So the first bar is uh, this one here. Now it's interesting, he's playing on a, a B flat seventh arpeggio from the flat seven in the bass and a B flat seventh arpeggio from the root in the melody with, with uh, accompanying notes in between sounds like this. Bar two, he plays uh, E flat seven, E flat triad with the third in the bass, an E flat seven uh, flat nine chord. Excuse me, uh, just an E flat nine chord with the uh, flat seventh in the bass. He approaches B flat seven from a half step above, and you get a beautiful contrary motion there. flat sevens um, companion minor in second inversion followed by B flat in first inversion so we get the bass line going up that's a four chord and then quickly back to one another four chord and another one chord with seventh in the bass then we approach the four chord E flat by a half step with this E 13 chord flat 9, again another inversion of that, a beautiful voicing here of it, and then it's companion minor B flat 9, so that section goes like this, and then we continue with the 4 chord, and then 1 diminished in two different inversions, followed by 1 again, another 1, then 4, we have three dominant, flat seven dominant, six dominant, flat three dominant. Now what's happening there is D flat 13 in bar eight is approaching the two chord C7 by a half step. Then we have 
C7, a little bass movement there, then the five of two, which is G7, sharp nine, then back to two dominant, then two, approaching five from a half step, oh, sorry, there's five, and then a little turnaround, one, flat seven, six, approaching two, approaching five. That's the Blues in B-flat uh, by Ted Green. Play it one more time for you. I'll try and do a few little variations, see if I can spruce it up a little bit. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you like this kind of stuff, feel free to get in touch with me through my YouTube page, and uh, we can explore it. Anyway, I hope it's helpful. And uh, go and check out tedgreen.com. There's great stuff over there. One, two, three, four.